Straight to the point, OBS settings. First, go to speedtest.net. Click go. We're here to check for your upload speeds. That is disgusting. Upload speeds equally disgusting. Keep track of your upload speed, as that is what we need. Next, click on display settings. Click on identify, and it shows which screen is your main screen. My main screen is number two. 1920 by 1080 is the most recommended size for your settings in OBS Studio. Remember that number also. Choose the recommended size unless you're rich and you have a screen that's 4K in size. Open up settings in OBS Studio. Click on video. Go to base canvas, 1920 by 1080. Same as the recommended display resolution here. Match those settings. You can type it in manually or select it from here. So my output scale resolution is currently 1280 by 720. Although I have more than eight megabytes per second upload speed, I prefer to choose a 1280 by 720. Also, I choose 1280 by 720 for my output scale resolution because I'm not a Twitch partner yet. And Twitch partners can't give viewers the option to select the quality of their stream. I suggest you pause the video and just base it on this here. Next is your FPS. Again, I suggest basing your common FPS values here with your upload speeds that you currently have. Next, click on output. I suggest for new streamers, choose simple because all the options here are set ready for your stream by default. For video bitrate, I've set mine to 3500 kbps. Based on your upload speeds, this is your bitrate. Pause the video here. I could technically go up to 6000 bitrate, but Twitch doesn't allow that. I don't know about YouTube, Facebook, or Mi but for me, 4500 would be perfect. If you have an NVIDIA video card, choose this one here. Any other video card, Choose this one here. Leave audio by trade at 160. Tick enable advanced encoder. You can mix and match between performance and quality. Max quality if you use any RTX or TI series cards. Example 1080 Ti or 2080 Ti. Non-NVIDIA cards mentioned as before, use this one. Everything pretty much the same setting, but encoder preset is either very fast or faster. If you think you're a player, choose advanced. NVIDIA cards, choose this one. Tick the box here for enforce streaming service encoder settings. Three scale output, you can choose 1920 by 1080 or like mine, 1280 by 720. That's perfectly up to you. Rate control is always CBR. By trait, I leave mine at 4500 and that's good enough. Face it on this one here. Keyframe is always two. Since I use an NVIDIA card, preset is always quality or performance. If you have a big boy card, max quality. Leave profile to high as default. Essentially copy my stats here if you have an NVIDIA card. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, X264. And for the rescaled output, base it on this one here. CPU usage for non-NVIDIA cards is always very fast or faster. Profile, always set to main. Audio settings. Don't touch general, general is fine as it is. Desktop audio, choose the one that you hear sound from. Mine, by default, is speakers, because that's what my output is from. Depending if you're using a headset or audio speakers, choose the options here. For microphone, mine is currently set as Yeti, because that's the one that I'm currently using. F everything else. Stream tab. Since I stream on Twitch, this is my default here already. Server is auto recommended based on where you are. You can choose your location also. Mine shows disconnect account. For those that haven't connected before to Twitch, there will be a connect option here where you enter your login details and your stream key. If you stream on other services, here are the options here also. Lastly, advanced. The only thing that you would ever need to change is video. But by default, this is good enough. Copy my video settings here. You can pretty much screw the rest, except for stream delay. If you're really good at FPS games, you can enable that to stop stream snipers. Apply everything that you've done. Easy.